reading an article that suggested that YouTube was going to become the new foundation of social media, the most important element in social media. And I have to admit that at the time, I didn't get it. I didn't get the vision. How were YouTube videos going to actually end up with any kind of dialogue taking place like you have in Facebook? How was there going to be any serious back and forth like you might have on a blog? How was there going to be the kind of dynamic situation that you have on Twitter? Well, a few months ago, it, I finally got it. The way that I finally got it is that I was on my own YouTube channel and I was looking at some of the changes that YouTube was doing to the look of your channel when you have multiple YouTube videos up. As I was doing this, I kind of looked down and I went, oh my gosh, I have 250 subscribers. Now I knew I had some subscribers because every time you get a new subscriber, you get an email that says you have a new subscriber. But to be honest with you, I hadn't been paying attention. I not only had all these subscribers, I also had a whole bunch of friends. And I thought, goodness, people are subscribing to my YouTube videos. By the way, this is a good time for you to subscribe right now to my YouTube videos. Just press the little button right above. But not only were people subscribing to my YouTube videos and becoming my friends, that meant that people wanted to see what I had to say on other YouTube videos. And I was surprised by this, amazed by this, but it was really the light bulb going on that said, this is a social media channel. Not only is it a social media channel, but the more I thought about it, I realized it was in fact the foundation of all social media. Now, why would I say that in addition to what you've just heard about subscribers? Well, it creates FaceTime. If you're just seeing somebody on Facebook, nice Facebook, you're gonna see still pictures. Somebody, you can, you can uh, put a little YouTube video in there if you want to, but mostly you're seeing still pictures and you're seeing words. It's very difficult to develop trust through just words or through still pictures. Much easier to develop trust through a video like this. So video creates something that no other kind of uh, social media can create, and that is the trust of actually hearing the person speak and being able to see whether or not it looks like they know what they're talking about. Now, watch the building blocks of how this works in social media. You have your YouTube video. You post your YouTube video on your channel. Your channel now is can be decorated and set up just like a, a website. You can have action elements. You can have ways that people can uh, go to your Facebook from there, to your Twitter. You can also ask people to subscribe to your email. Uh, you can ask people to go and buy your book. You can do anything on a YouTube channel now that you can do on a website or your blog or on Facebook. So your YouTube channel becomes just like those other social media elements. Now, your YouTube video is posted there. From there, you can take your YouTube video and you can embed it as a post on your blog. Now, I've been doing that for years with my clients and I understood that part of it. You post it as, a, uh, as an embed on the blog and that way people who are following your blog or who come to your blog can find your YouTube video there. And that means that other bloggers can find it and they can say, oh, I like that YouTube video and post it on their blog or, or, or talk about your YouTube video and give a link to that YouTube video. Generally speaking, most of the YouTube videos that I create for clients and for myself will also end up embedded on the right hand column of the blog. So that's just one more place. Even as the post starts to go away and becomes part of the archive, the better YouTube videos, the most important YouTube videos stay on the right column or the left column of the blog. We use something called magic, which means that as you post this YouTube video on the blog, it also notifies Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn that you've created a new post and lets people know that you have a new YouTube video to go watch. So just in that one YouTube video, you've already created a massive amount of social activity with regard to all elements of your social network. Now, each one of those can result in people coming back to your YouTube channel and saying, yes, I want to sign up to be a subscriber, or I want to sign up to be your friend, or I want to comment on your YouTube video. Now, that, that becomes one of the most surprising parts to me of YouTube videos is that I've seen now on some of my clients' YouTube videos thousands and thousands of comments going back and forth, just like you would have in a newspaper editorial section or on some of the uh, online uh, articles now that you see many, many, many comments. So the social media thing has taken place there 
And as people become more engaged with your video through commenting, they become even more likely to subscribe, to go to your Facebook, to go to your Twitter, to go to your blog, or to pick up the phone and call you, which ultimately is what this is all about. At the end of the day, with all of that social media, as a marketer, what you really want to do is generate an email list. You want people, if they don't do anything else, if they don't call you, if they don't email you immediately, if they don't do anything at all other than just leave their email behind, then you've got a victory because those emails are extremely valuable. You're going to want to email these people on a regular basis, letting them know about uh, things that are going on with your company, in your industry, and even personal comments and thoughts. So that's how YouTube video has become the basis, has become the foundation of all social media. We can help you get those YouTube videos up and get them distributed in a way that probably no other uh, marketing consultant can do at this time. Give us a call. We'd like to help you get started.